what will it take for the for for the dogs to not be Breland's pick? Who are who are their biggest threats right now, Jake? Well, he's down to three. It's Miami and Oregon out there as well. Um, I think with Oregon, you've got to fight the West Coast. I mean, it's just the ability to stay close to home. They've done a great job recruiting him. Dan Lanning has really prioritized this kid, and uh, rightfully so, man. I mean, this is a he's a difference maker for sure. He's a rare guy in a frame. Um, and then Miami has seemingly kind of just been involved with everybody um, for uh, whatever reason you might choose. I know a lot of people would probably point to NIL as what's keeping them in the race for a lot of people. Um, but they showed some marked improvement against uh, Texas A&M. You know, guys know Cristobal from his time at Oregon. Um, so, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of familiarity there as well. So I think ultimately Georgia just has to continue to pitch this kid because what I continue to see in his comments is the development aspect. Um, you know, to me, that's what it is. Um, I, he talks about, you know, Georgia and the success and, you know, being around guys who, you know, if you're around nine, uh, nine successful people, you'll be the 10th one. Um, you know, it's really, you know, there's some compelling stuff he's saying in George's favor. And I think that it matters that he has a teammate committed. I don't think it's an ultimate decider, but I think that it gives him a level of familiarity of comfort with the dogs as well. So like I said, man, I don't know that I would go ahead and slam the pick today, but I'm probably not too far off, especially if coming off this weekend, we, ex we hear what I expect that we will, which is that I think things will probably go pretty well. They'll prioritize this kid very heavily as they rightfully should. And I think Georgia could be, um, you know, in the catbird seat, uh, by this time next week. Um, you know, that's a bit of a hot take from me, but I don't think I, everything I will is trending in the right direction in my eyes when it comes to Aiden Breland in Georgia. D line you speaking of D lineman, Big one decommitted from the Florida Gators. Michael, is it Borio or Boro? Makai Boro is what uh, Rusty said. So I'm just going to go with what Rusty said. And he's the guy in charge here. So if he's wrong, then that's I, I, I'm just that's marching orders is what I'm going by. So, um, but uh, yeah, that was a big decommitment. Um, you know, Georgia really likes that kid uh, and did going into his decision. It was a bit of a surprise that he chose Florida. Now he's backed off of that. So Georgia never stopped recruiting him. And oh, yeah, now the dogs are number one. So he's visiting this weekend. You got to assume that's in Georgia's favor as well. Again, it's like Breland, man, a rare frame on this guy. Big cat. Um, yeah, 6'5", 350. Jeremy said he's probably he said he's probably carrying more like 360, 370-ish. Um, but, he, but he looks but he looks good carrying it. I mean, he, he's not it's not sloppy weight. Georgia will trim him up, but. I think that, um, you know, the dogs would be a safe bet at this moment. Um, and it's like I say, man, get as many of these guys in. I don't care what you have to do. Figure out the spots. Let God sort them out when they get to Athens because these people do not grow on trees, my friends. Six foot five, 350 is not walking around uh, Hardee's all the time, all right? These guys are freak athletes uh in the way they move and their size and i think that um you know Bur burrow is one of those guys so i think it's um it you know all signs are pointing georgia right now i don't know if he's in any rush it doesn't seem like that's the case but some great stuff from jeremy johnson over at dogs hq go check all that out uh he had a chance to catch up with the kid face to face over at creekside and um, his comments, I thought, were pretty telling. All right, and then finally, Jalen Matthews here, just decommitted from Penn State. If Kirby Smart flips another guy from James Franklin, he's probably going to have to hang it up. I mean, that's just abuse. James James Franklin is not sending a Christmas card to the Smarts this year. I promise. <laughs> it's not. I mean, they. somebody asked, um, you know, what's going on with this? Like, is there some sort of vendetta? My theory on it is that, Penn State's just really good, uh, has a really good eye for talent. They're good talent evaluators. I think Georgia respects it. And I also think that they feel comfortable moving in on their players. I mean, uh, I mean you know, it's like, thanks for all the legwork for pointing us toward this guy. He's great. And uh, now we'll take him from you.